Hi developers, I'm Osam Bilal from Microsoft MVP. In this video, we'll learn how to use behaviors and attached properties to solve some of the common problems when we develop Xamarin Forms applications that use the MVVM design pattern. The problem is that when you have a command and they want to bind that command in a button, that's feasible through the command property in the XAML code of that button. But with some controls like the list view, we don't have a command property inside the list view item. So what we do is that we call the command through the code behind of the item selected or item tapped event handlers. But it could be really nice and helpful if we do have a command property inside the list view so that we can bind our command to that command property directly without going through the code behind. And that's what we'll be building through the behavior and attached property. Here I do have a simple MVVM application which have a main view model. The main view model have a list of products. This list of products will be shown in my uh, in a list view in my view. Then I do have a selected product so that when the user selects one of these products, uh, the, um, from that product will be bound to the selected product. Then we have a purchased pr products which will show all the products that the user have chosen. That operation is done through the select command, which will take the selected product and each time the user click on that product and it will add it to the purchased products. Here we want to bind this select command in our view. For that here in the main page, where here I am binding to this main page to the main view model and I'm binding the purchased products and the list of products available here. Then if I want to access that command, the select command, I should create an item selected event handler and from the code behind here for that event handler I access or I call my select command and pass the parameter. This is not an elegant code as now we do have behaviors. So instead of using this, we'll use behaviors. So let's start by creating our first uh, behavior. So here the behaviors are available under listview.behaviors and we can uh, set multiple behaviors. So let's start by creating the first one. I'll go to my project and add a new behavior or a new class. Let's call it item selected behavior. Let's make it a public class and a behavior, it should inherit from behavior, behavior of list view because here we want to use this behavior from our uh, list view. The behavior should have or, sh or should override the two parameters for attaching or unattaching to and the second method it should override which is on detaching to or on detaching from those methods will be used to subscribe to the item selected event handler coming from the list view here we can access the list view through the bindable uh, variable here so let's um, use the bindable to access the selected or the item selected event handler then we'll subscribe to a, a method that will be fired in each time the user selects a new product 
we'll call it bindable on item selected. Of course, we, we need to unsubscribe from that method whenever, whenever we leave this uh, list view. So we say bindable dot item selected then we do unsubscribe great now from within this um, this method here we can invoke the command coming from the main view model and we can access that command through the variable sender right here sender here is the list view it will, it's an object that will contain the list view coming from my view so let's first uh, cast or convert my sender, my object to a list view. So let's call it MP equal sender as list view. Then we can access the binding context of that list view and say as main view model. So we are converting that to a view model then we'll hold the property in a variable called vm as now we do have access to the view model then we can access our uh, select command saying select command dot execute and pass null parameter we can access that select command from this behavior so that from here i can say in the list view behaviors, I want to use that uh, item selected to command behavior. I can access it through my uh, local because local here it contains the, my namespace, which is Zamar Informs Behaviors, and that's the same namespace in which I have my class item selected to command behavior. So from here, I can say local and use my uh, behavior from here. So now it's like I have a list of behaviors attached to my list view, and one of them is the item selected to command behavior that will invoke the select command. Great, now let's run this application and let's add a breakpoint to the command to make sure that uh, it will be uh, executed. So the user selects one of the products and here we do have the breakpoint from the select command. Now we did solve it part of the problem because here we are uh, not anymore uh, writing code uh, behind to access that command but instead we are delegating that responsibility to the behavior right here but what if now if i want to reuse my behavior and when i reuse it maybe i do have some other main view models and some other commands so this code here will not help me to reuse this behavior instead what we can do we can use attached properties to pass as a parameter the command. So let's do that. Here I create an attached property. I here I'll use call snippets. I prepared one here, call it bindable property. So the code snippets here provided me this code for a command uh, here I, uh, for a bindable property, call it command property. We'll use the bindable property object to create uh, a bindable property. We we'll call it command so that in my XAML code, I just type command and it will be recognized by the, uh, in, in my XAML code. That command property is of type I command. Then the declaring type is the type of my class here. The command also comes with a property of type I command that will just get and set that uh, command. So now that we have that command, we don't, we just need to execute it 
in the bindable unselected uh, event so let's call command execute with null parameter great let's run this application select one item and but here we do have an exception saying that my command is null why is that that's because here in the xaml we didn't pass a command property so we can do that here by calling the command and note that here now i do have a command inside my list view so i can invoke that uh, command and i also can do bind do data binding to the command i want here i'll bind the select command run the application again select one product but also i do have null reference exception because here there is another step to do when we want to bind two commands which is updating the binding context so on my on detach on attached and on detached um, methods i go and subscribe to the binding context change it coming from my uh, list view so i do bindable dot binding context change it and create a new method for the um, for the context change it you don't forget to unsubscribe from that method bindable dot binding context change it minus equal binding context change it great now from within the binding the bindable on binding context change it method right here we'll go and just update the binding context to say equal to to the uh, binding context of my list view because my list view holds the binding context of all the page so here i access my list view call it, it lv equals sender as list view then i'll just use the list views uh, binding context now let's run this app select one product and here it is all the products are added to the uh, list TV or to this uh, list of products you can find the source code of this app that we built today in uh, github here if you go to my github repo you can find all the source code for the uh, app with the bindable uh, or with the behaviors so i hope this video was helpful for you and thank you